Are you curious how to achieve the ideal appearance and texture of your concrete? Join us at McMind's Hub, where you'll know about concrete finishing work. Let's dive in. Stamped concrete finish is like using a big stamp to press patterns into wet concrete. Imagine you have soft, fresh concrete laid out. Before it dries, you press down stamps that have cool designs on them. These designs can look like bricks, stones, or even wood planks. Once the concrete hardens, it keeps these patterns, making it look like it's made from something else. It's a neat way to make your driveway or patio look fancy without using actual bricks or stones. And it's pretty tough too, so it lasts a long time. The salt finish is similar to drawing patterns in the sand, but it's for creating textured surfaces on concrete. Here's how it works. When the concrete is still wet and soft, you sprinkle big chunks of rock salt all over it. Then, gently press the salt into the concrete. After the concrete dries a bit, wash away the salt with water. What's left behind is a cool, bumpy texture that looks a bit like the surface of a cracker. It's not just for looks, though. It also helps make the concrete less slippery when it's wet. A broom finish is like sweeping a broom across wet concrete to make it non-slippery, perfect for rainy days. Imagine you've spread out some wet, gooey concrete. Before it dries, take a regular broom, just like the one you might use to sweep your floors and drag it across the top of the concrete. This leaves behind lots of little lines kind of like a bunch of tiny speed bumps. These lines create a rough surface that helps your shoes grip better, so you're less likely to slip. It's a simple trick, but it really works to keep walkways safe. The polished concrete transforms a plain concrete floor into a smooth, shiny surface, much like polishing a stone. It starts with a regular concrete floor that's kind of dull and scratchy. Then, using special machines, grind the surface by starting with a rough grinder, kind of like sandpaper for concrete. After the big scratches are gone, use finer and finer grinders until the floor is really smooth. In the end, you get a floor that's so shiny, it almost looks like glass. This makes the floor not just pretty to look at, but also super easy to clean and tough against wear and tear. An exposed aggregate finish reveals the colorful stones or sand in the concrete, giving it a unique look. To make it, workers pour concrete with special ingredients. After it starts to harden, wash away the top layer of cement. What's left is a rough texture with the colorful bits of stone showing. This finish is not only pretty, but also tough and slip resistant. It's often used for sidewalks, driveways, and patios because it looks nice and lasts a long time. Plus, it doesn't need much care to keep looking good. The swirl finish adds artistic semicircle patterns to the concrete surface. It's done by moving a trowel into a swirling motion over the concrete while it's still wet. This leaves a series of arcs that looks like whirls or spirals. It's a popular choice for outdoor areas like walkways or patios because it adds a unique artistic touch. Besides looking good, the swirls also provide extra grip, making the surface safer to walk on, especially when it's wet. Colored concrete involves mixing color pigments into concrete for a vibrant touch. These powders are added to the concrete before it's poured, so the color goes all the way through. It's like adding food coloring to cake batter. This way, the color is not just on the surface, it's part of the whole material. You can choose from many colors to match the style or design. Colored concrete is used for floors, walls, and even countertops. It's durable and doesn't fade easily, making it a popular choice for adding a personal touch to homes and buildings. The burnished finish where the concrete is polished to a high shine with a power trowel. This tool spins round and round, and when it's passed over the concrete many times, it makes the surface really smooth and shiny. It's like using a big spinning polisher. This kind of finish is often seen in warehouses, stores, and places with lots of food traffic because it's easy to clean and looks sleek. It also reflects light well, brightening up the space. 
A troubled finish means smoothing out concrete until it's flat and solid. It's done by using a tool called a trowel. Workers move the trowel back and forth over the concrete, pressing down hard. This action squishes out any air bubbles and makes the surface really smooth. It's like ironing clothes to get rid of wrinkles. This kind of finish is common for indoor floors because it's nice to walk on and easy to keep clean. It also looks simple and neat, which is great for a modern style. For something different, a textured finish adds a unique feel to the concrete, making it stand out. Imagine you have a plain cake and you use a fork to make lines on it. That's similar to what happens with concrete. After the concrete is poured and smoothed out, workers use tools like brushes, trowels, or stamps to make designs in it. These can be simple lines, fancy swirls, or even shapes that look like stones or wood. This makes the concrete not only look good, but also gives it a non-slip surface, which is great for places like sidewalks or pool decks where you don't want to slip. It's a creative way to make plain concrete more attractive and safer to walk on. If you prefer smoothness, a slick troweled finish uses a steel trowel for an ultra-smooth concrete surface. It's made by using a steel trowel, which is a flat metal tool. After the concrete is laid out, the trowel is passed over in many times. The steel blade of the trowel presses down and smooths out the concrete, getting rid of any marks or rough spots. This action also brings water to the surface, which helps make it even smoother. The result is a shiny, polished look that's really flat. It's often used for indoor floors where you want a clean, sleek appearance. A brushed finish is achieved by brushing the concrete with a stiff brush for a rough texture. This happens after the concrete is poured and starts to harden but isn't totally set. The brush makes lots of tiny lines or grooves in the concrete. These grooves create a texture that can help prevent slipping, making it safer to walk on, especially when it's wet. It's a popular choice for outdoor areas like sidewalks, driveways, and patios. The brush doesn't just make it safer, it also gives the concrete a nice, consistent pattern that adds a decorative touch to the plain surface. The rock salt finish creates a rugged texture by pressing large salt crystals into wet concrete. Once the concrete sets, the salt is washed away, leaving behind a textured surface. This finish gives the concrete a rough, patterned look which is not usually visually appealing but also provides better traction underfoot. It's often used for outdoor areas like sidewalks, patios, or pool decks where slip resistance is important. The larger salt crystals used in a rock salt finish create deeper impressions compared to a regular salt finish, resulting in a more distinct and decorative texture. Have you seen these finishes in action? Which one is your favorite? If you find this inspiration helpful, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.